Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our market wrap up show for the weekend of March 29th and 30th. I'm Joe Keenahan, Chief Derivative Strategist with Thinkorswim. And let's take a look at what happened on Friday before we head into the weekend. Alright, first of all the Dow Jones Industrial Average got slapped a little bit on the day. Not too bad. The Dow down 86 points. We had on the Dow 22 decliners, only 7 advancers and 1 unchanged. Alcoa was one of the big advancers on the day. Big decliners. Citigroup down over 3% again. One of the other decliners on the day, Disney. Uh, Disney may have to wish upon a star, according to many analysts. Wishing upon a star is our theme for today. Because apparently, according to some of the major analysts out there, Disney is going to have trouble for the rest of the wait as our economy continues in a recession and folks might not spend their dollars on entertainment like they have in the past few years. So that bears watching and with that we see some sizzling out of Disney. Very, very heavy activity in the July 27 and the July 30 puts. In the nearer term we also saw the April 27 puts with heavy activity on Friday. Disney obviously bears watching. <laughs> There's a pun for you. In so many ways, the stock really does bear watching right now. All right, let's look at what else happened on Friday. As we said, we had the Dow down 86 points. S&P future down over 10. We talked about this, just over 1319 on that level. As we talked about last week, 1333 was a level that the S&Ps had a hold. They didn't. We feel we could go all the way down right now to 1306 before we see our next major support. And as we've talked time and time and time and time again, this 1253, 1250 area will be the next big, big level that we may test on the downside. We have to see what happens going forward. Going forward, let's talk about that. What do we have next week? What we have is a slew of numbers ending on Friday, of course, with, shall we call it, unenjoyment or unemployment, as many call it. But going into that, we see the VIX on Friday down a little bit. Still over that 25 level, as we've talked about, we're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing 25 to 30. So we're not getting a true read out of the VIX as to where we're going to head. Unemployment being on, on Friday, an important number to look for. But before that, we have a lot to look for. First of all, please be careful trading Monday. Last day of the quarter, always an interesting day, shall we say, in terms of trading. We could see a lot of craziness in there as people try and... So we see put on some window dressing for the quarter as this will be the last day that mutual fund managers and hedge fund managers have to get measured. So they're going to be very active, I would say, on Monday. Please be careful in your trading. All right. That all being said, we have some ISM numbers this week. The Red Book number, you know, on our April Fools. Will they fool us with the numbers that they come out with? And after, after those numbers, again, we, we want to focus on unemployment. All right. We will talk to you all week long. As always, good health, good trading. Thanks for joining us. Joe Keenahan, uh, Chief Derivative Strategist with Think or Swim. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.